Hello, you guys, and uh, it's me, Dalejandre1, bringing you guys another tutorial of Pokemon hacking. Uh, in this episode, I am actually going to show you guys how to um, edit trainer data in the game. Uh, what I'm using right now in uh, to do this is called Advanced Trainer. Uh, right now, it says it's the beta. Uh, there's other things such as A Trainer and all that other stuff, but to me, I like using Advanced Trainer just because it's a bit simpler for me, and I don't have to go through a lot of hassle just to like edit trainers. And if something happens, I I know how to locate them fast. So let's go with Josh here. Josh is the first trainer in the Rustboro Gym. Um, he is actually really edited uh i this is, i'm using a file of sapphire where i base this is going to be my first hack instead of the emerald one but due to me not actually play testing the sapphire game i actually kind of like made the levels after like we know that like, just what well, horribly just too bad and i mean by my right i'm one of the team my right was like level 57 and the pokemon i was fighting were like level 65 yeah, and I didn't like that. That was just too much. So I changed it. And I went with Emerald instead of Sapphire. I just started over. It actually took a while. Maybe half a year. But I, I did it. Anyway. Um, to have edit trainer data, you're going to go to File. And you're going to open ROM. It should accept any ROM for, you know, just GBA. Ruby, Sapphire, Fire Red, Leaf Green, Emerald. Any of those. I have chosen that Sapphire ROM. But you can actually see, because uh, you actually, you know, I, I had to do this. But, you know, it's here. You can't actually see it on the screen. I don't even know why. You can only, guys can only see this big square. Anyway. Oopsie. Messed it up. Okay. We choose Sapphire ROM again. Now, the thing about this, you can either go by doing this and using their hex number. You know, which uh, I wouldn't. I just wouldn't. Or you can go on Bobapedia or Cerebi or whatever and actually search the name of the the people in the one the root or the place. So the guy's name Josh, and there he is, level 15 Geodude, level 15 Omni, level 15 Kabuto. So let's start editing. All right, first of all, let's just make him let's make him level 20 and let's give him I don't know a Ditto. Oops, Glitto? No. Ditto. Okay, there we go. He has a ditto now. And his attack is going to be. Damn, explosion. That actually be pretty cool. And bam. Save. And what do you guys know? You have level 20 ditto to fight as the first Pokemon this guy's going to send out. Alright. First of all, you go, just to explain something more, you guys can change the name of this guy as, as you want. You can make him female. I can name him. Josh the loves it. No, I can't do that. That'd be horrible. Joaz, and bam, his name is now Joas. I can also change his sprite with this, making him any sprite I want. So let's make him these two chicks. Uh, don't fiddle too much with intro music and anything. Just leave it like this. Um. It gets kind of complicated choosing the music because I really don't know exactly how to do it. Money rank basically increases how much money you're going to get. Let's see. Let's rate that lab. Look, quite a bit. And this, gives, can you can change what thing, you know, what trainer class you want it to be. You give an item. Let's give you a super potion. Save. And bam. Let's see. Let's go to Joey. Okay. Uh, okay. There. Bam. Now, Pokemon amount, you can make, okay, first of all, you can, you can click this to make it a dual battle. You have two Pokemon to do this. I don't know about the AI value, so don't tell me. So this, you can have no items and default attacks. No items and custom attacks, which is what this is. Custom item and default attacks, and custom item and custom attacks, which is actually pretty good if you want to make a pretty good hat. Alright, for repoint, basically, you're going to have to repoint if you want to add more Pokemon. Let's say, okay, see, I want to add a Bulbasaur level 100, or 40, 041 apparently, 100, and I can't, uh, try, 
and it says repoint needed. Okay, so you're going to repoint, and it's going to be needed bytes and suggested. So you're going to copy this and put it on the new offset, and you're going to put OK, and bam. You can now have a level 100 Bulbasaur on this guy's team. So I'll meet you guys back when I'm actually in the hack and i show you this battle. So I'll be right back. Alright, and now we are back at the battle. And see, there's Pokemon Trainer Jaws. There's its sprite. And it's on a level 20 Ditto and a level 15 Ammonite. And I don't uh, think it went too fast, but let's see. Let's just, let's just drag and rage on it, Ditto. Ditto use Explosion. It kills him. It kills Ralts. And it kills Ammonite. And they all died. Happy day, happy day. I'm joking. Now let's go back and I'll show you how... So how many Pokemon he has. He has four, which is exactly how many I edited into the game. So, uh, let's close that. So he has four Pokemon. He has a level 20 Ditto with Explosion. And I don't want to really show off the rest because he does have a Bulbasaur. I've already checked. So that worked too. Uh, he get, had a Super Potion, but he couldn't use it. Uh, Pokemon Trainer was his class. His name was Joe's, but it didn't show it was a female. It's prize money, or well, I'm gonna have to show you that in a bit. So give me, let me show you guys after I beat the battle, if I can. And we are back at this battle. I'm gonna show you guys the rest of it. I actually toned it down. Ditto is my level one, making this quite easy and quite laughable. And actually, let's use Absorb on Ditto because my Rots has no, no PP. Ditto's dead. And I'm just going to have to kill these Kabutos and Kaminites. Yay. And there you go. I actually changed the bubbles to level 1. Because I needed to show you guys the battle. So, yeah. As you guys can see, the Bulbasaur is there. Showing that I edited correctly and added the fourth Pokemon. And Bulbasaur, I'm so sorry. Let's kill you. And how much do I gain? I gained 200. Which, actually, I think that's actually quite a bit, because they're just trainers. Right? <laughs> yeah, let's kill this. Let's see how much he gives me. And if not, I mean, you can edit the money as you want, as you please, but... Scene gave me 1,800. Well, you guys can see what I mean, right? See, his prize money is 15. Or, money raised that. Let's try to find Scene. Oops. Oops. Okay, well, apparently they don't want to find scene. Anyway, you guys see the gist. You guys can actually fully see how to edit Pokemon now, how to add Pokemon, and do anything else. If you guys if you guys saw that I, I should have done something else and I didn't, well, you know, please tell me in the comments. I am open to suggestions. And, well, I hope you guys like this tutorial. Uh, yeah. Well, this is Dollar Hunter 1, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye.